Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to give you guys a recap on a new episode of Nanatsu no Taizai Fundu no Shimpan or The Seven Deadly Sins, Dragon's Judgment, which is on episode 7. This episode right here looks like to me we're about to hit into the next big major events to come, so looking forward to see where that goes. So if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to that King, who apparently awakened as his true form, you know, he ends up easily overpowering Mao with the with with this with this Chesterfield spear, you know. Eventually, Mao will later on be overwhelmed by Harley Quinn or King, you know. And of course, King realizing, reading Mao's mind and heart right now, realizing what he's going through right now is really disturbing and sad. Therefore, King decides like, um, I'm not going to kill you because that's only going to birth into a new cycle of hatred and rage and anger. So if you need someone to freaking like um, take your rage or anger on, I would take you on multiple times if I have to. But Mal, it looks like to me, is about to hit his limit as when he absorbed the freaking Fourth Commandment, it's already like I'm destroying his body or like killing him from the inside out. And we have to it that like um, Gother, who finally awakened from the spell that he finally pushed through or break through right now, he ends up asking Hawk to fly high up in the sky so he could get to Mal. And we have to Gother enters Mal's mind and Mal and Gother has a little small talk with each other. Well, Mal wants to engulf this image where he always used to hang out alone, where before he disappears completely. Gother, on the other hand, tells Mal that he has to continue to live and not give up, you know? And that he could push the commandments out of his body. And we see the four commandments um, having to, like, um, go into Mal's... Starting to, like, surround Mal's body, and Gother tries to convince Mal to, like, to, like, um live and push him out and that he wants to apologize to him properly. Mal in total anger and rage after being told by Gotha to keep living, you know, says, then answer me this then. Why did you choose me of all people, huh? I'm pretty sure you could have chose some other some other people who could like be a little like um what you may call it, um more appropriate to the situation here and there. And we have to it that Gother tells Mal like um hey man like um if you know me very well then you understand where where I'm coming from here, you know? And we have to it he tells Mal to remember something what of what happened like um, many years ago, you know? And we have to it that um Mal ends up remembering like he slaughtered a bunch of demons and that he remembers like he killed a demon that's like similar to Gother and that was actually Gother's lover and G G Glarizia, you know, and because of that, that's the reason why Gother chose Mal to become Esther Rosa here and there and maybe become the balance of for the demons and everything else all together. And by that time, Gother is forced out of Mal's mind while he while Gother tells Mal you gotta fight, you know. After Mal realizing what he's done and finally getting an idea of what has happened, you know. He decides to go into anger and rage and tells the commandments to get the hell out of his body, you know. And we have to it that eventually, um, that Mal re releases himself from the commandments and he ends up saving, saving Gother in the process, you know. And we see, like, Mal having to, like, um, use a spell on Didier and Oslo to re reincarnate them in the necktie with their memories intact of their previous life, you know, and he says, like, um, he, di he did this, so if they want to punish him or kill him, you know, for what they, what, for what, for what he has done to them, then he will accept it gladly, and we have two of the Gother says, then I'll face that punishment with you, and Gother, on the other hand, asks Mal to come help out at Camelot, and Mal refuses because no one would want that, but Elizabeth convinces him otherwise, you know, and we see King Deanne Hawk, along with, like, a Mal, Elizabeth, and Gother getting ready to, like, Go to the location where Camelot, where Camelot is for the current time being. Then we go to a scene where like Merlin, Escanor, along with like um, Hendrickson and Gilthunder and Ludishell and Margaret's body is starting to like um, continuing the battle against Zeldris, um, Chandler and Cusack. And we see to it that like um, that Chandler that um, Merlin is asking Zeldris why is it that you you're pretty not you're not shocked about seeing. Um, Mal as your brother. And we have two Zeldris is because I never accepted Mal as my brother. So I don't give a dang about him. And I'm glad of all life given to me that I know the truth. And we see to it that Zeldris was about to get ready for round two as he's not going to make the same mistake again. But unfortunately, we have to it that, well, for, well unfortunately for the, the rest of the Merlin and Escher and everyone else, sees Kusak and Chandler decides to fuse together. They end up having to talk about a story about the first demon and that... 
because of that, they got it got a punishment because of like what it did, and it was it was forced to train two of the princes, which is like princes of the demon clan, which is like um Zelges and Meli Eldest to like um become successors, and we see to it that Kusak and Chandler gang ready to like um form into one powerful demon they mentioned, you know, and we see to it we go back to purgatory with Bond and Meli Eldest along with um. Wild getting ready to face the Demon King and get out of there, you know. And preview the next episode looks like to me it's about to get it's about to get a little hectic. Don't know what's about to happen to what happened next, but hopefully things will be okay. But I'm not so sure. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace out. Bye bye. Toot toot.